The XYZ Affair by Casti McNamara. In 1795, the French government was angry with the United States for signing Jay's Treaty with Great Britain. The treaty limited France's access to American seaports. The French leaders wanted revenge, so they seized American merchant ships in the West Indies. Newly elected President John Adams did not want to go to war with France. To try and stop this from happening, in 1797, President Adams sent a committee of three delegates, Charles Coteworth Pickney, John Marshall, and Elbridge Gerry, to France. They were sent to make peace with France by meeting with the French Foreign Minister, Charles de Talleyrand. When they got there, Charles de Talleyrand refused to meet with them. Instead, he sent three French agents, Jean Hottinger, Pierre Bellamy, and Lucien Hotville, to the meeting. The French agents refused to talk about an agreement with the U.S. unless they gave France a low-interest loan to the French government and paid a bribe to Talleyrand. The French implied that without um, the money, there could be a war. The commission refused with Pickney saying, no, no, not a sixpence. Adams said, I shall institute a fresh attempt at negotiation and shall not fail to promote and accelerate an accommodation on the terms compatible with the rights, duties, interests, and the honor of the nation. He said, is my sincere desire, and in this I presume I concur with you and with our constituents to preserve peace and friendships with all nations. The U.S. agents were shocked and doubtful that any concession would bring about any real change in the French's willingness to come up with an agreement. Talleyrand's strategy was mainly one of delay. He planned to end attacks on the U.S. merchant ships, but he wanted to increase his own wealth and power first. The French were gaining power in Europe because of their military victories. The French changed the terms for the loan from the U.S. and threatened to invade the U.S. if they didn't agree. The U.S. again did not agree to these terms. Back home in the U.S., there was a big debate in Congress over how to proceed with France. Only parts of the messages between the U.S. agents and the French had been released. Congressmen wanted all the messages to be released. President Adams agreed to release all the messages because it would help his cause. When he released the messages between the U.S. agents and the French agents, he changed the French agent's name to X, Y, and Z. Once the congressmen read all the messages which described the French's actions, they agreed to publish them. The American people read the messages and then supported the president. The military was built up, and the French government eventually dropped its demand. By 1800, President Adams had signed the Treaty of Morfontaine with France to restore peace.